what's going on guys we are back and as you can see i am so tired <laughs> i forgot to, to change my screen but we are here so i'm go just gonna talk and change it at the same time because i just completely forgot and i'm not about to stop this recording to do this intro again so i'm sorry you're just gonna have to go through it with me okay so i'm just gonna change a few things and change up my background real quick so we can begin season two of attack on titan okay um we had a goal you guys really really showed your love and really tried to get there and that's the reason why i'm doing this unfortunately you won't be getting these um the couple of episodes that i, that I said i would do on monday but i'm just gonna add it to the three i was gonna do on tuesday and just turn it into a super duper reaction. So you guys will be getting su two super reactions on Tuesday. Which is the end of Code Geass. And also five episodes of the beginning of Attack on Titan. I don't want to waste too much time doing this. Because I don't have a lot of time. And I'm recording all ten of these episodes. In the space of the next. What? The next two, six hours. So. I'm a, I'm I'm definitely definitely I'm not a hundred percent. Last night was nuts. Watched the Game of Thrones season eight premiere, and I stayed up until I think it was like I didn't go to bed until like three o'clock. Had to get back up at four thirty, so I only got a hour and a half sleep. And now I'm back home, trying to get these reactions done for y'all. I know y'all appreciate it, so. You don't have to tell me, <laughs> okay? Because I know you guys appreciate what I'm doing. And that's why I try to to give you guys the best content um, out there. You know what I'm saying? Doing full reactions and getting this stuff done. Because I do have to make sure that these things are done. I have to render out these videos and upload the full reactions. Make sure that they're there. They're ready before I can even post anything on YouTube. So, it takes up a lot of my time. So, I'm fresh. I'm ready to jump into season two after how season one ended. I'm ready to know what's the move now. What are we going to try to find out now? I did put out a poll and I told you guys, I asked you guys if it was necessary for me to watch. I think it's Ilse's, Ilse's, right? Yeah, Ilse's note, notebook. And overall, you guys said no, I don't need to. Um, some people said it contains minor spoilers for the first two episodes of season two. So you don't need, um, so if you want, you can watch it. If you don't, it's not that big a deal. So, um, because I put, I put out that poll because it, it was very conflicting for me to decide what I want to do. So I let you guys decide what I should do. And overwhelmingly, you guys said no. So here we are not doing it. I will get back to it maybe mid-season or something like that this season is only like third i think it's like 12 episodes i think i didn't i didn't count them but it's very short <laughs> so um so i'm ha I, i'm i'm down for it all man let's go watch these reactions don't want to waste too much time because i don't have too much time to get these super reactions done so thank you guys for watching this always remember link is down in the description for the full reactions it's gonna be five episodes i'm gonna try to split them up into maybe um two and then the other three together it's probably what i will do so thank you guys for watching as always i will see you guys for the review all right so we're back here again again we're here um what's up terror squad um i'm back with the review episode season two episodes one through five is it so one through five yes one through five one two three four five episodes right one through five um definitely a great start to the season some things are still a little bit confusing but um, some really epic moments happen. I mean, Aaron getting his first Titan kill. That was pretty cool to see. Um, because, you know, w well, his first kill 
as a person, as a human. <laughs> I don't know. Um, because, you know, you already know he got notches on his belt from being a titan. So, um, it's his first skill as a human using the treaty maneuvering gear. So, congratulations to Aaron. Yay, yay, Aaron, yay. Anyways, um, let's get to the meat of the map. There's a lot of confusing stuff that happened. Start of the season, we got introduced to this titan. Beast Titan. That was actually the, even the title of the episode. Beast Titan. This Titan looks intelligent as hell. And he's trying to learn. And that's the thing that's most interesting about this Titan is that it's trying to learn. Right? So... I don't know what that guy's name was. Didn't seem that significant to know his name anyways because he died. Right? So, it's basically asking him, asking him about the treaty maneuvering gear. Like, what is it? You know what I'm saying? Pretty clever thing that they came up with. That's what he was saying. It was kind of surprised me how fluent he was at talking. Like, is there somebody in the neck of this Titan too? You know, more than likely, I believe so. I believe there is somebody inside that Titan. I believe there's a human inside that Titan. At first, I was thinking it just seemed like, just like what they were calling it, an abnormal. But then when he picked up that horse, because they don't harm animals. It doesn't seem that way. Or am I wrong? I, 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 rem I think I remember somebody saying that back in season one, that they don't harm animals animals for some reason they just eat humans so it was kind of weird that he picked it up picked up the horse and flung that thing at dude man now i was like whoa you know what i mean so that was pretty cool to see but at the same time i still want to learn more about this titan seems like he has some sense of mastery over the other titans that um before in season one, Annie could call them to devour her, and then now we have a Titan that base that basically basically like can tell them what to do. They are scared of this Titan, which is weird. Which is weird. As I said, a lot of confusing stuff happened in these episodes, but I but I know just from my experience in season one, a lot of this stuff will be explained. Um, as you go along, but some really epic moments, um, really cool thing that Reiner did picking up the Titan. And I was like, but they don't weigh that much anyways, cause they're pretty light. So I'm not going to dig too much into that as to say, okay, he must, you know, he must be super strong. Like, I don't think you have to be super strong to actually lift up one of those Titan. I mean, you got to got some body on you, but I don't think it's that like, you know, he's OP in in strength. And now I got to call him Superman. It's just more like could be just adrenaline too. Um, but the kicker for these five episodes, um, there was a lot of what's going on and what led up to it. And I like how they did it. I like how they, they did those things. Um, not in a flashbacky kind of way. It was kind of cool to learn about Sasha's past meet her dad and stuff I mean she's an animal she's a wild animal man like why is she like that like I still don't get why she's like that is it because meat is scarce is it because she's always hungry why she acts like that she's literally picked up the meat off the floor still was biting it and stuff but um the way how she saved that little girl was pretty cool so she went back to her village then we have Connie going back to his village and still trying to figure out how the hell these these titan got within the wall um within the walls of uh, wall rows and there is no hole in the wall so that's still a mystery that i'm pretty sure they're probably going to explain this season um why that happened or how they got in there i mean we already saw the beast titan climbing the wall which i'm pretty sure is not all of them did that because it was like a little group that entered that they killed um, earlier on, like in episode one or two, those Titans that they killed, but there was really nobody, no, none else. So now they're wondering, how are these Titans getting in and there's no hole in the wall? So that's a mystery. There's also the mystery of the Titans living in the wall that the pastor Nick 
don't want to talk about or don't want to tell the truth about or it's some secret or some sort what does it have to do with i think he was implying krista or ymir i does he know that ymir was a titan i don't know i st i'm still not clear on what happened during that scene i'm probably gonna have to go back and watch it to see if i missed a piece of the dialogue there that was explaining because he basically said something really vague you know what i'm saying like he said something really vague to to um to hanji you know you know that was after him and levi had that heart to heart when they were when he saw the crowds of people how they were trying to you know migrate you know, away from the wall. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, but it was definitely, definitely a surprise to find out that Ymir was a Titan, even though it was, it was kind of implied during the episode, but I still wasn't really picking up on it because it was kind of still obscure because when she was having that conversation with Reiner, when she picked up the, the canned food and she said, Oh, Heron, this, this, you know, could feed or whatever the situation is and then he passed she passed it to, to reiner and reiner is like but this writing um ymir are you and then they cut the scene so i don't know if reiner was implying that she's a titan but then again if he's implying that she's a titan and only titans can read that language or people who or humans who can turn into titans can um you get what i'm saying like that would imply that your ass is a titan too, Reiner. That would imply, because that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't know what you said, but I'm saying if that's what you said, like, if, did you ask Ymir if she's a titan? If you did, you get what I'm saying? What if she's saying something? It could be something else, but I'm saying if he did say that, if he did ask the question, are you a titan, Right? But it got cut off at, are you, right? If he asks a question, are you a Titan, based on the facts that he picked up and said, okay, this language, only these people know it. If he asks that question, that simply means that that would imply that Reiner is a Titan too because he, cause he basically said, um, this can says a herring. How does she know that? You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like maybe there is a specific thing towards people who can turn into Titans. I don't know what it is. I'm speculating at this point because I don't know what he said. It doesn't seem like it because he wouldn't have been a Titan, a human that can turn into a Titan. Because the way how he was, how he lost track, because it seems like Ymir ate his best friend or one of his friends so and the way how he was holding krista he felt he feels some sort of way about it i don't know what's the relationship between that guy that got heaten and him could be a brother could be you know it could be family so i don't know so i'm i'm just spewing out all the things that's going on in my head right now so i it's just crazy the theories that you can get out of them just by just watching the dialogue in the show it's really really awesome and that's one of the things i enjoy about the show and that's why you see me like i pay attention to the dialogue a lot and not really like um i love the music the ost makes you want to pay attention too so that's really cool um so i mean i think i touched all the bases um the situation with connie and the village him going back to his village and his mom did everybody in that village turn into titans is that how they got in you get what i'm saying because that titan said to him welcome home and he heard it you know what i'm saying and he said this titan reminds me of my mom so could it be that because the place when they went to investigate they're like all the horses are still here you know what i'm saying like if they ran out of the village and escaped why leave the horses they're still alive. So did all of those people turn into Titans? I don't know. Maybe. 
maybe this is as i said just speculating at this point just taking note of what i see and putting two and two together that's all it is but these were five solid episodes we just watched i still have five more episodes of kogi has to go react to so pray for me <laughs> pray for me guys 10 episodes of anime in to record in one night is is a feat is a feat okay i deserve my own manga for this <laughs> just kidding anyways man this has been great guys i know you guys appreciate the videos all you already know what to do hit that like button man i love what you guys did um so i'm gonna ask you guys again you hit a hundred you hit a hundred likes this time around if you hit a hundred likes this time around i promise you guys that i would drop another five on thursday okay that seems fair okay i will drop another five episodes on thursday off attack on titan if you guys hit 100 likes again so i'm challenging you guys again we didn't hit it for this one and i'm still doing it so this time i'm asking you because maybe some people didn't get the memo 100 likes 100 likes on this reaction and you guys will get another five instead of three on Thursday. All right. So we can wrap this up real quick and in a hurry. We can wrap up this season and go into season three. Okay. So thank you guys for listening as always, man. If you have not hit that subscribe button, make sure you subscribe. There's more to come. You know what I'm saying? I have so many suggestions in line ready to go. Okay, so thank you guys for watching as always, man. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Go on the link in the description. Join the Discord server, man. Come in. Discuss. It's what we do on this channel, okay? Leave a like. Leave a comment as always. Let me know what you think of these five episodes the first time you saw it. What you thought of my reaction. Of course, you can comment on that too. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I tell you guys thanks as much as I want to because I appreciate y'all. Remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Terabyte Reacts, and thank you guys for watching. Peace.